Hi, this is Tanya from Love Buddha Tarot, back with the cards for the 14th of February 2017. Happy Valentine's Day to everybody. I hope you have an absolutely wonderful one. That would mean the cards are wrong, but I do hope that you have a, an absolutely lovely one filled with love as well. Um, firstly, before I want, before I do the cards, I just want to say a huge thank you. I know I've said this before, but to all the messages that I keep getting off people, um, seeing how these, these messages resonate with them, you know, and seeing how they're taking something from them. Now, when you may think that I'm the one giving the messages, okay, yesterday, somebody wrote on my wall after the messages and they said to me, something about where do you have the time and who was buying you roses on the 14th. Now, I started to write to them because I do try to reply to everybody. Um, I started to write to them that I wouldn't be getting roses this, this Valentine's Day because my Valentine was always my granddad. Um, it was my granddad's birthday. It would have been my granddad's birthday today. And uh, my granddad, um, I was very close to him. And people that know this know that I lost him last year. So this is my first birthday without my granddad. And since my grandma died, every Valentine's Day, I took my granddad out. So we went and had a meal. So he was my Valentine day. He was my Valentine date. Um, so I went to type this just to explain this to the lady. And as I typed, I said, I won't get roses. Now, <laughs> how I didn't get this, how I didn't click, um, my granddad's funeral song that he asked us to play was a song called I Won't Said Roses. And he asked me to play that to him in the hospital the day before he died as well. So... By it was wonderful. I'm 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 getting upset here, but not in a bad way, you know. It's if you listen to the song, it's a very, very poignant song. The words in it, I got a huge, huge message from it, and it was like I felt my granddad around. So thank you for sending that message. And it just shows the importance that, you know, it's it's not just me giving messages, you know, I'm I'm getting them back. Everybody who is connected in this in some way is helping and touching each other and that is a beautiful thing. So that is something that I was very, very honoured to get. I can't read for myself, you know, and, you know, they don't always come in when I, I want them to. But my granddad had been on my mind a lot this weekend. Like I say, it's uh, it's not the, the best days, but, I, you know, I, I may go into that another day. But I got the message I needed. So I didn't get roses off him, um, but I got a message and I got contact from him. And that was... That was more than enough, you know. My heart was my heart was bursting with that. And please listen to the words of that song as well, because they're it's a pretty sad song, but it's it's beautiful in a way as well, you know. Um, and it's it's sort of about no, I'll, I'll not even go into the song. Okay, <laughs> that's, that's it. Like I say, make your own uh, make your own judgment on that. So apart from that, the energies have been a little bit crazy. Has anybody felt them? The magic in the air and the creativity has been overwhelming there's um again thanks to spirit and doing these videos there's a there may be a new little something coming to love buddha as well there's been a lot of work over the period of a day now when you go with spirit everything just flows and within a day something has come together massively so watch this space because i'm i'm so excited about it it's like my new little baby and i'm i'm, I'm i've just been on top of the world over that so like I say I said there was magic I said there was creativity so anyway back to the cards um when to pull the cards and the card that came out was the eight of cups again now this is what we had the other day you know um this is what we had yesterday you know and it's about you know knowing that you've got to go in search of your happiness I'm not going to go into that card too much because it was yesterday's you know it's not it's it's still fresh in your mind but I feel the fact that this came out is just verification, you know. So the card that came out alongside it is the Five of Swords. Now, I don't like this card. It's one of my least favorite cards in the deck. And I just I just don't like it, you know, because what this talks about, it talks about like a time of it's like it's tension. There's sadness. There's a situation where you are feeling defeated, you know. I think this is internal, external battles. It seems there's a, there's a real tiredness around this. And I just, you know, I don't like it. And it's sort of like, 
you know, um, it's like ugh, there's a line needs to be drawn in this. There's a line needs to be in the, drawn in the sand, and it's 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 enough. And I feel that this line is like I say, this this, this walking away, you know. And this might not be what you wanted or what you hoped for, you know, but when you are trying something and when it is in vain, there's got to be a time when you turn around and you say no more. That's it, you know, and you've got to question what is it that you are really fighting for? So this card is telling you that you need to walk away from a situation, you know, because this is affecting you negatively. And, you know, I even think this could be affecting your physical health as well, because stress you know, stress does a lot of damage damage to our bodies, you know, um, and it's 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 just it's a bit crazy, you know. I'm going to having to go and have tests on my heart today, um, you know, and then that was uh, that that was down to a period of stress, you know. So this card is saying to you, you know, they, look at what you really need to give up now, but look at what you will gain by doing this, you know, because what this is saying is this course of action that you need to take at the moment is to be true to yourself. Look at what's working in your life, look at what isn't. And it's time to get rid of what rid of whatever is causing you stress or grief. You know, know that you have done all your cat you can. You know you can't keep flogging a dead horse and put the sword down and stop fighting. Life is too short for you to continually fight, you know. You should be flowing, not fighting. Right, okay. So right like I say, it's 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 not it's not the best card, you know. But this card is saying that we all deserve happiness, you know. It's like, it's you can't keep fighting. This this is this is what it is. I really feel this is detrimental, and it's like I say, it's never it's it's never going to be what you want it to be, what you hope it'll be, or whatever, you know. It's like the Whatever situation you are in at this moment in time, it's just it, you need to, to walk away. I, I feel this is, there sort of seems to be things around, like, you know, his throat. It's like not being heard, not, not shout. Like, you know, even if you're shouting, you're not being heard. It's like two sides are never going to see the same, you know, never, never going to see things in the same way. So it's, it's a time of just putting the swords down and not fighting, you know. Now, it's, it's like, I really feel with this as well, it's like when you finally let go, when I said, I've just said before about this, this idea that I got and it just flowed and flowed and flowed, it was because I went with spirit. So this is saying when you finally let go of this situation, you know, um, and when you finally like, surrender to the universe and just say, right, okay, you know, stop fighting the universe as well, stop fighting that, and just say, you know, show me what you've got, you know, rather than trying to push in the opposite way of what the universe is showing you, this is when you will receive gifts, and this is when you will receive abundance and happiness, you know, you kind of trick spirit, they know what is best for you, even if you try and fool yourself. They will continue to work for you, you know, and they will, you know, you might think they're working against you in some way, but spirit never do. They always are working for you. So when you give up what you should have given up a long time ago, this is when you will be rewarded. So that is the card for today with the the tarot cards, and I'm sorry, you know, it's like I say, everybody's wanting to go out wine and roses and stuff like that, but, you know, <laughs> spirit have, spirit have other ideas, um, so, when I picked the Osho card, it's a five of clouds, which actually is the five of swords, so this is the same card again, and what this is talking about, it's comparison, right, and it's saying that, it says here with the comparison is, the way to find out who you are is not by comparing yourself to other people, but by looking to see that you're filling your own potential in the best way that you know how. So this is how, you know, when we are comparing ourselves to other people, it's always, you know, like, oh, well, they've got that, or look at them, they've got that sorted. Or somebody even might be saying to you, well, look, this is what they did. Look at what they did. That is different. You are different, you know? So it's like, 
You may even be comparing your life. Had I gone down a different path, what would have happened? You know, um, we all have free will and our soul will show us the way our short soul will try and guide us. But it's up to us to take that step and we might detour off it, you know, and that is creating our own destiny. But what happens is sometimes when we take the wrong path, it leaves us with this like with a low feeling as well. And we just, you know, we don't gain. We just feel hollow like this bamboo in the picture. You know, if we think a bamboo is hollow and then what happens when it dries up, it goes rigid. Whereas this oak tree that stands next to it, you know, it might not be as smooth on the surface there. You know, it might not look as good on paper, but its roots are secure. Its roots, and I've said this before, when you dig your roots down and stand strong, you know, this is when you can withstand any storm. But the thing is, the bamboo will sway. You know, this is it. It'll sway in the wind. So it's like dig your roots in here. And if your comparison, this is, this is saying like it's sort of, if you're feeling hollow, this is because you're not feeling rooted and you're not feeling secure. So, you know, we are all different and it's like, you know, we're very different as people and that is a wonderful gift, you know, that we've been given, you know, the, the universe has bestowed it on us and we've been given the chance to, and the choice actually, yeah, yeah, the chance and the choice to develop, you know, and this is to develop ourselves, you know, and, and be and stand in our own uniqueness because this is what, who, what makes us who we are and we should be proud of that, you know, we should be proud of who we are because every single one of us is different and we are uniquely different, you know? And, it, you know, this card, when it, it, it always really makes me sad because it's like, how many people have taken the time to get to know themselves? You know, this is an essential duty that we owe to us. And, you know, we owe it to ourselves to know who we truly are. And too many times, you know, we are, like I say, we are... We are fighting a battle that we can never win because we're trying to fit in or we're trying to be who other people want we to, us to be. And this leads us to feel like this. And this is why this card is coming in saying you have to go in search of your fulfillment, you know. So when I'm looking at this as well, this card, what this card often says as well is a comparison, you know, when I'm talking about this battle. And this might be saying that, you know, you may actually be sort of having mixed feelings around people, you know, and probably two in particular. Now, you know, this is this is a common common thing. Like I say, I do I do a lot of readings and a lot of them are around relationships. And what it is is when you are comparing the two, you know, it's your egoic mind, you know, is controlling not just you, but your life as well, you know, and your decisions. So it's your ego, you know, that is, is coming in when you're, you're comparison, when you're using this comparison. And the thing is, what you've got to do if you are comparing is ask yourself, which one do you feel better around? You know, because a lot of people, we give off energies, you know, and people will give off energies and we pick them up. Um, some can drain us, you know, some can uplift us. And I've mentioned this before, you know, you can... You can be feeling really, really shitty and you see a certain person or you talk to a certain person and boom, you know, it's like, all right, things seem great again. Or you can be feeling really good and then you go in a room and you start talking to somebody and bang, you're down, you know. So there's there's this drain, draining, you know. So this is the, the comparison, you know, where do you feel, where do you feel good? Um, and this is what a lot of people, I think, struggle with as well, you know, um, and it doesn't mean that either person is better or worse or whatever, if you're having to make this comparison, but what it means is you are affected differently in their presence. Now, I mean, this isn't probably the, the, the card or the thing I should be saying on Valentine's Day, but like I say, I read what comes out. I was really hoping for some love this week, this uh, week with the cards, you know, I really was. I thought, oh yeah, we're going to have a great week. And I think we are, you know, it's still there, but it's just, you need to less listen to this, you know? Um, and it was Johnny Depp, the actor who uh, said, if you love two people at the same time, choose the second one, because if you really loved the first one, you would have never fallen for the second. 
So, you know, I mean, how many of you are deeply, madly in love now and, you know, somebody else could come along and your head wouldn't even be turned, you know? It's like, you know, that is the thing because you don't. If you've got what you want, then, you know, you 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 don't look elsewhere. So that, that sort of makes sense what he's saying there. So what this course of action is saying here is be true to yourself. You know, don't just compare what could be, you know, and what is. So this is about looking at what's working in your life, looking at what isn't, getting rid of this stress and grief, like I'd said in the other card. It could be a situation, it could be a job, it could be it could be something else, you know, but this is time to, to let it go, you know, and yes, there will be a sadness with this, you know, and there's this hollow feeling that I do feel, you know, that's not going to just go overnight, but it will pass. And once you trust and once you surrender, then it will all turn out okay. When we choose to when we choose to actually take negativity away from our life, our life changes beyond measure. And I know this because I've done it, you know. And it was, I was, I, you know, at a time in my life, I was like, why, you know, why do I always feel like this? Why do I always feel burnt out? Why do I always feel stressed? Why do I? And when I actually broke it down, it wasn't because of my stuff. It was people around me and it was what they were putting on me, you know. And I made a decision that I didn't want that in my life. I didn't want that type of negativity in my life. So I had to break away. And this did mean leaving certain people behind. And it was sad, you know. But it opened up a whole new life for me. And, you know, I I really, I would, you know, I... I wouldn't, I wouldn't swap it for the world. You know, this is how I live my life now. And the people that I'm surrounded with have my back. You know, every single one of them has my back, you know. And they're there, not for what's in it for them, but for what's in it for me. You know, they would... They, they don't come into it, you know. It's like, right, okay, what's, what, what would work for Tanya here? Yeah, if I have a problem and I go to them, that's it, you know. And it's it's very selfless, you know. And then hopefully I am the same with them as well. But the negativity isn't there. All that's there is the trust and the knowing that you have the support, you know, and knowing that the, these people that are within your life want the best for you you know they have no other agenda it's just about because they love you they care for you and they actually want what is best for you even if they think they don't think that that's right I'm having this at the minute about this this Iraq thing at the moment and I I understand and I've had talks with a few friends and things have changed a little bit in Iraq um over the past week or so and I, I've spoken to friends who have expressed their concerns about me going and they've said you know you will we will never tell you what to do Tanya but what we're saying is we're concerned about you and I, I I respect that and I get it you know but they're not saying to me no you can't go or no you're not going to go you know we're not going to allow it you know they're they're giving me free reign to do something that I want because they they respect me and respect my judgment. And this is what this is saying. You know, you need to anything that is negative around you and making you feel, you know, like this, this exhaustion, you know, any this this fighting that you've got to do. It's stop the fighting, man. You know, it's fighting doesn't get you anywhere. You know, it just drags you down and you think, you know, it's like. You don't want your life to be a battlefield, you know, you don't. So it's like, you know, just say to spirit, right, okay, I'm, I'm ready, I surrender. Show me which way to go and they will be there. The spirit will be there to, to catch you, you know, and spirit will be there to guide you, you know. So it's, it's, it's a strange feeling coming in with, with, with these cards today. And the Colette Baron Reed card is again it, it it's saying that you are physically exhausted here you know you need to recharge you know what you need is you need to recharge you need salt baths you know you need to empty your mind and you need to get back to you because I feel all this fighting and all this comparison it's like who am I you know you know exactly who you are you know go into a quiet room tap in the spirit Feel spirit connect to you and instantly you know exactly who you are, you know, and that is all you need to do. You don't need to 
listen to other people. You don't need to sit and analyze who you are because, hold on, I'm doing that different to how they are. You know, it, it's like, you know, that that is their life. Let them live it. You know, this is about you and going going back to you and remembering you and recognizing you and saying, you know what? It's been ages since I've seen you. I've missed you, you know, and actually embracing you and giving yourself a massive, massive big hug. And like when I'm doing this, I'm doing this reading and I wish I could just put my arms around the computer screen to all of you, because if this reading is resonating with you, what you need is you need nurture. This is what you need. You know, you need to give self-love, but you also need somebody to give you love. You need somebody to care for you. You need somebody to nurture you, you know, and there are people around who will do this, you know, and they will do it not for what's in it for them. They will do it because that is what you need. You know, we talked about that flamingo the other day, the nourishment. This is it, you know, and it's like this card, this deep knowing, it's like, you know, you've it's, it's in the protection position. So when it's like that, it's you know you're connected. You know when it's like that, it's like you forgot or you've become that clouded that you can't actually, you can't remember who you are. You can't remember, you know, what is is true. And what is true is when you're connected to spirit and they're showing you the way, you know. So what this card is saying here is, this is time to say no to anyone or anything that exhausts you. You know, it's time to just say enough. Draw that line in the sand. Put that sword down. Stop comparing yourself and stop being compared as well. If anybody is comparing you to somebody else, then you really need to question that that, that person because it's not good. Um as a good friend of mine and their partner do that all the time. And it's like, yeah, but such and such does this, such and such, you know, well, be with such and such then, you know, that that's the way I see it. I'm sorry. It just, it gets me so annoyed. You know, you are uniquely you and you shouldn't compare yourself and you shouldn't be compared neither, you know, and what you need to do, you need to turn this exhaustion, like I say, you know, salt baths, recharge, you know, <laughs> Go out in nature, take some time just to sit and be you. Turn your head off and actually allow your soul to speak. Because at the moment, you know, it's all, it, it's just noise there. So it's about listening to your soul, you know, put your ear down, ear down close to that ground and listen to your soul because then everything will be all right, you know. So we need to turn this deep knowing that is upside down we need to turn it back up, you know, and when you know, you know, and if we have a look then, it's like, you know, the rays are, you know, we've got the owl there, you know, and I always, I love the owls, but, you know, it's like, we've got the stars, we've got the hopes, we've got the dreams, you know, it's, 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 you know, we've also got the moon as well there, and look at that little, when it's turned that way, look at the little smile on the moon, you know, and what did I say the other day when this card came out? It's like he's asking the moon what to do. Now, we turn that upside down and that moon doesn't really look as happy, you know. So it's like make the moon happy. Listen to it and do what you need to do. So I'm really sorry about those cards today. I did want to want it to be all like love and stuff like that. But I think these cards are saying it's self-love and... And I think what they're saying as well, right? Okay, they just came in with that. And you you know what? They're so sneaky. They always have something. What they've actually said is, I said I wanted it all to be about love. And, you know, they said, that is not love, you know? So I really feel that these cards have been brought in today that if this is how you are feeling, sort of, in a relationship or something like that, or if a relationship is making you feel like this, um, then you need to realize that that is not love. Yeah, um, I once, I've, I know I've said this before, but there's a great teacher, um, a guy, a healer, who, who I've worked with for a number of years, and one day we were talking and I said to him, he said, do you know why we're on earth, Tanya? And I went, yeah, I said, we're here to experience real love. And he went, no. 
We're here to understand what real love isn't so that when we then get real love, we understand it, you know, and we can only get that when we've understood what real love isn't. And if something is making you feel like that, that is that is not love, you know. So, like I say, I'm I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry about those cards. Um, but I really feel spirit just want you to wake up now. This is it, you know, and... What better way to do it, you know? Keep your heart open, but put your sword down, you know? Or take the sword that's out of your heart. Take that down. Take that, you know, it's don't don't let it hurt you anymore. This is about building you up, about recharging you, about getting your energy good, and about looking to the future, because the future is bright. And like I say, once you actually connect back to spirit, um, they will show you the way. And, you know, it's it's... It is worth it. Cut the negativity out. It's it, it doesn't feed you, you know. So I hope that made sense to you. Like I say, I'm, I'm very sorry about them. But hopefully tomorrow's are going to be better. Okay. But have an absolutely fabulous day, whatever you do. And I hope you are spoiled rotten. And I hope you do get roses as well. I, I, I really hope you do. Have you seen them rainbow roses? I love them. Um, but yeah, have an absolutely fabulous day. And even if you're not getting love or anywhere else, I'm sending you all massive, massive amounts of love and a huge, big comfort and hug as well, because I think that is massively needed. So like I say, from my heart and my my heart to yours, you know, there's there's so much love being sent. OK, I'll see you tomorrow with the cards of today. Satnam.